Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on this sort of soft cut crease rainbow sort of colourful inspired look. I was just really really into these colours and I decided that I hadn't really done anything like this on my channel. So we're going to start with a bare face and I'm going to go in with this rose hip moisturiser. I will as always leave the links all down in the description bar. Popping that all over my face and then I'm popping on this Olay CC cream. It's one of my favourites at the moment. It gives you a slight coverage, it gives you a slight luminosity and it just sort of fills in your pores and works to make your foundation sit beautifully on the skin. I like to work that in with a foundation brush just because I find that this gives it a really nice even coverage and you could probably even build this up for day to day wear if you wanted something super super natural. But as you can see it just gives your skin a really nice glow. This was actually the first time I wore this and I was very impressed guys, very impressed. Go and get it. <laughs> Then for foundation, I'm using L'Oreal Infallible. I love this, as you guys know. I'm popping that all over my skin. I like to spread it out quite evenly and then blend it into the skin. I find this is a really great high coverage foundation and it works on most skin types. I haven't really found anyone that doesn't work on yet, so if you're after a high coverage foundation, definitely check this one out. For spot concealing today, I'm taking the Savvy Liquid Concealer and I'm just popping that on any areas that still have scarring or redness showing through. I don't layer my foundation too heavily so I always prefer to go in with a concealer and just spot clean up anything that does really need extra coverage. Then to conceal under my eyes I'm taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm popping that just on my eyes with my finger. I find this is the best and easiest way to make sure it has a really nice even coverage and it isn't too cakey or you know building up in any places. The warmth of your finger will work it into those fine lines under the eyes. Then I'm taking my Australis Condor Kit and the lightest shade and I'm setting all that in place. I'm using a Models Prefer brush and I'm just working that into the concealer just to make sure that it doesn't move around and it sets all really nicely so it doesn't crease. Then to set the rest of my face, I'm taking my Models Prefer Mineral Powder and I'm popping that all over my skin. I like to use sort of patting, dabbing, swirling motions. I just work this into the skin to set the foundation. Then I'm taking NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray and I'm spraying my face just to set it all in place. Then I went and did my brows, so I'll leave my brow tutorial down below for you guys. The first shadow we're taking today is Makeup Geek's Barcelona Beach and I'm popping that in my crease. So I'm slowly but surely building out that colour in the outer and inner crease going all the way into the inner corner. I just wanted to really give this a really nice base coat. It is just the flat colour that everything else is going to build on top of it. And this just makes it so much easier to blend harder or harsher or darker colours. You want to keep building it up until you get something like this and then you want to take it down onto your lower lash line as well, joining those two edges up at the outer corner just to create a really nice rounded effect to the eye. Then I'm taking this maroon colour from the Jaclyn Hill Favourites palette, it's one of my favourite colours of all time. I'm taking a really big fluffy brush and I'm popping that in the outer crease. I'm just blending that slowly but surely in the outer crease and making sure that the pigment is really really good. Then you want to tilt your eye and in outward flicking motions you just want to extend that shadow out beyond your eye just so that you get a really blown out effect. Something like this. Then I'm taking this amazing colour by Makeup Geek called Chickadee and I'm popping that over top of that red maroon colour. As you can see I'm building it very slowly and watching as I go and that just gives you a really nice gradient effect. Then of course I'm bringing that down onto the lower lash line as well. Then I'm taking another Morphe Brushes colour, I am popping that down below, it's just a matte white and it is beautiful for highlighting the brow bone. As you can see it's a super pigmented colour so I'm popping it on and then I'm blending it out with that same fluffy brush. Then I'm taking this brown from that same palette, I am popping that in my crease. So this is where we start defining the crease. You want to tilt your brush upwards so that you don't get too much colour on the lid, but if you do, don't worry too much, we're going to clean it up in the end. 
I want to take that in the crease and then down onto the lower lash line as well to really join up that circular shape that we're starting to form. Then I'm taking Makeup Skate Corrupt and I'm popping that in that same area. So we're focusing on the outer crease with the brush tilted upwards so you don't get too much on the lid and we're just building that colour. So I'm laying down a little bit of colour because it is black it's so hard to work with. Lay down a little bit of colour then take a blending brush, blend it all out then go in again with that same brush and add color and then of course blend it out it's a process but it's the easiest way to work with black without getting too much fallout or too much build up i'm also taking that down onto the lower lash line and as you can see really joining those two up so it's nice and circular at the end then I'm taking a little bit more of the red burgundy colour and a little bit more of chickadee and as you can see I'm just deepening those two colours up because a little bit was lost in translation in the blending. And we want to end up with something looking a little like that. Then I'm taking Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and I'm popping that on the lid. You don't have to worry about it being too clean, I'm just focusing it close to my lash line and then I'm taking a brush and I'm blending it all out. This is a hard, sort of tedious step, but it really is essential for making that lid colour pop. So you just want to take your time, really blend it, and really carve out a crease shape. So you can cover up some of that shadow if you've made a little bit of mess now. And don't forget to pop a good amount on the inner corner as well and blend it out. Then I'm going to be taking that matte white that we popped on the brow bone and I'm packing that colour all over where we popped that pencil. This just makes the colour really pop, makes it really pigmented and makes sure that the colour doesn't move or budge. So you just want to pack that colour on again, focusing on creating a really, really nice crease shape. Don't worry if it doesn't look too blended because we're going to go in with a big fluffy blending brush and blend it all out. I decided to go in with the same brush that I used to blend the black out just so that you get a little bit of that black colour onto the white, something like that. Then don't forget to coat your inner corner with that white colour just to really make them stand out and make them look really vibrant. Then we're going in with liquid eyeliner and I'm taking this Master Graphic liner, it's one of my favourites at the moment, I'm just doing a normal winged liner. This product makes winged liner a dream once you get used to the brush. It does take a little bit of time, but once you're used to it, it really does make it really simple to create great winged liner that is sharp and precise. And then I decided we needed a little bit more drama, so I'm taking this Ben Nye Luminaire Powder and I'm popping that on my inner tear ducts as well. As you can see, this is just a super pretty, super shimmery, white, stark colour. Then I'm taking my Miss Manga Mascara and I'm coating my lashes quite thoroughly. And then for falsies today I am using this style from Shop Miss A. And I'm popping those on my lid and then just coating my inner lashes again and oh, I made a mistake. <laughs> Don't worry, wait for it to dry and use a cotton tip to get rid of it. Then I'm taking my Ben Nye Contour Colour in Contour Number 1 and I'm just contouring my cheekbones, my nose, under my bottom lip. You guys know the drill with contouring. I'm using my Models Preferred brush and I'm just taking my time and really blending it out. For bronzer today, I'm changing it up and I'm using this amazing Physicians Formula Bronzer. Oh, it's so beautiful and on the skin for the first time that you use it, it does have a slight sort of gold foily look to it, but that does go away after you have used it a couple of times and I actually am really loving it. For blush, I'm taking the two red shades in my BH Cosmetics Glamorous Blush Palette and I'm popping that on my cheeks. I just found this really went with the eye look and really enhanced the cheekbones. Then I'm taking Australis Blush on Illuminator and I'm popping that everywhere that I want to be highlighted. So under my eyes, under my contour, on my forehead, on my nose, around my mouth, pretty much everywhere. This just gives the skin a really, really beautiful, flawless finish. Then I'm going back into that Ben My Luminaire Powder and I'm using that to highlight today. This is just the most beautiful multi-purpose colour, especially for lighter skins. If you don't own this, you probably should. I have had it for a while now and I just forgot about it until just recently and as you can see it is just the most beautiful highlight shade. So I'm popping that on my cheekbones, above my brow bone, down on my nose and on my cupid's bow. Now I decided to do two lip looks again because I couldn't decide. I started with this Apocalypse um, Lip Lacquer in Meteoric Matte, I think it is, and it was just a really pretty dark deep red. This formula is amazing, they're the new matte shades, they just came out and they are beautiful. I actually really am loving them. 
So that's what that colour looks like. But I also decided that I wanted to do something a little bit darker and a little bit more sultry to match that black in the crease. So I went in with this Savvy colour in the colour, um, what was it? Dark Plum. <laughs> there you go. And it's just one of my favourite colours of all time. I absolutely love this shade and I think it's so wearable. So that finishes the look guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below letting me know what you would like to see next. I'll hope to see you in my next video guys. Have a good day. Bye.